Good morning, students. Welcome to the today's class. Today we'd like to discuss about lecture number seven in unit number three. So area capacitance. Area capacitance. In the last class, we have seen that. Let us recapitulate what we have seen in the last class. Recap. We found the, the resistance of a circuit. Resistance of circuit, okay. So based on sheet resistance concept based on sheet resistance concept. Okay, so today we would like to discuss about uh, another important uh, concept that is called area capacitance. Okay, so therefore now we would like to discuss about area capacitance so because the circuit uh, normally produces uh, inherently the mass structures produces the capacitances okay so what is the capacitance that is observed that is observed in this particular uh, mass circuits okay so let us see where exactly these kind of things are applicable okay for example we consider this the situation, one situation I will show you uh, where exactly these kind of things are possible, possible to observe. Um, I'll take one diagram. Okay, for example, uh, this one let us consider. Copy. Listen. Step two. Okay, so let us consider copy. So this is the one situation where you can find the different layers are possible. So whenever we are looking at this particular <clears throat> piece of uh, so this is actually layer representation, layer uh, layout, layout representation. This is a layout representation of a piece of uh, material. And this is actually physical, physical uh, device. So this is a physical device. So as we know that this is the substrate, of course we know that this is a end diffusion. Okay, so this is called metal one this is called metal two. So that's not only we have written in this way. So if you observe carefully, so from the metal two, for example, you can the metal two, this is the metal two, this is a substrate. Of course, this is the one conducting plate, this is another conducting plate. These two conducting plates are separated by, for example, an oxide, right? So therefore the oxide is uh, absorbed here. So therefore there is a possibility of capacitance here. There is a possibility of capacitance. So metal to substrate capacitance. Okay, you observe here also. So at this place also you observe. So metal one and this is metal metal two and metal one. There is a possibility of capacitance. So here in between that one there is a oxide is available. So therefore there is a capacitance is formed. So here also you observe capacitance is formed. Right. So therefore in mass devices or mass structures or mass transistor, there is a possibility of capacitance formation. Okay, so therefore what we have to do, we have to calculate the capacitance observed in your circuitry. Okay, so therefore, as everybody knows that, so when two plates, for example, this is the one conducting plate. Okay, this is another conducting plate. If these two conducting plates are separated by a semiconductor uh, oxide, for example, for example, an oxide, 
this is an oxide, then the capacitance will form from A to B, right? So therefore, what is this capacitance we normally call it as? This capacitance is nothing but how do we calculate this capacitance? Similar to that of uh, resistance that we have calculated. It is simply epsilon into A divided by distance between the plates. So the distance between the plates is nothing but, as we know that the distance between the plate is nothing but thickness of oxide, right? Thickness of the oxide can be called as distance between the two plates. What is the area here? So the area of the, the capacitance from the length to width ratio. If you take the three dimensional view, for example, something like this. So we have to, we can calculate uh, what is the dimensions of all these things also. We are able to see that. Okay, so these are all the three dimensional view. So it's having some length, so it's having some width thickness. So the thickness will be there. Okay, and the width also will be there. So there is a width is also there, right? So according to that one, we can calculate uh, what is the area also. Okay, so uh, specifically we can consider that epsilon is nothing but epsilon not into epsilon insulator, whatever the dioxide material that we use that is called insulator into A divided by D, as everybody knows that. So what do you mean by here epsilon? Epsilon is permittivity of, permittivity of free space, right? So what is this value? 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 18 farads per centimeter. So this is how we can write the permittivity, stability of the medium, which can, which can oppose the electric field. Okay. So next, uh, epsilon insulator, which is nothing but, what kind of insulator we are using? Silicon dioxide, silicon dioxide. This is normally called as relative permittivity. What we can call it as relative, relative permittivity. So that means uh, when compared to the free space, what is its value? Okay, usually by definition, uh, this is approximately 4, 4.0. Generally, depending upon what kind of insulating material, instead of silicon dioxide, tungsten also, be, uh, some uh, silicon nitrate also can be used. Okay, so nitrate is also one of the insulating material. For that one, it will be different. Like this, uh, different insulating material has got different relative permittivity compared with uh, free space. Okay. Now, now, as we know that A is uh, area. So it is actually length to width. Length is multiplied with width, as we know that. Next, uh, D is the thickness of. between plates. So which is also say that oxide thickness, oxide thickness. I hope you understand what is the parameter that we have seen so far. Okay, now let us come to the point of how do we decide, how do we, what is the units for this uh, capacitance? Okay, what is the unit for this capacitance? Generally, C, whatever the C that we have calculated here, whatever we are observing here, it is actually epsilon naught into epsilon INS into A divided by D into is the units of, uh, we have to write it in femtoparads per micrometer square. In terms of the VLSI design point of view, all the feature sizes are in microns. That's the reason why whatever the capacitance that is formed within these layers will be in femtofarads, okay? It is not more than the femtofarads, it should be, it will be in the femtofarads, okay? So, but uh, if you take uh, the exact values of uh, how much femtofarad uh, uh, the capacitance will be formed in a layers is nothing but, normally we take it as uh, uh, <coughs> C units, capacitance. Capacitance units 
in the order of in the order of so 10 to the power of minus 4 into femtofarads per micrometer square femtofarads per micrometer square okay so therefore this is in the order that it will, it will be in okay 10 to the power of minus 4 into femtofarads per micrometer square that means whatever the values that we considered if you convert it one into uh, femtofarads per micrometer square it will become so 10 to the power of minus 4 into femtofarads per micrometer square it will be Okay, so you can also verify that uh, by applying the epsilon, epsilon insulator, uh, A and D units. If you combine all these things, you can find this value something like this. Okay, okay, fine. Another important point to remember is that standard capacitance, standard capacitance. What is the standard resistance that we have seen previously? Sheet resistance. Here we normally call it as square CG. Square CG. The square CG is called a standard capacitance. That means the minimum capacitance that we observe in mass layers. Okay, what do you mean by the CG? So it is actually the capacitance of a material Okay, for a unit capacitance, for a unit area capacitance. What does that mean? So you take any capacitance, for example, the two, what, what is the capacitance we talk about? Gate to channel capacitance. Please remember that it is gate to channel capacitance. So whatever the capacitance you calculate doesn't matter. It is obviously we know that epsilon into A divided by D. We know very well, okay. Now, when this capacitance is called uh, square capacitance, you take a, when we can call it as a square capacitance, you please take a, take a, sorry, you please take area of this one is, unit area we have to consider. We have to consider unit area. Here, A is equal to unit area. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm extremely sorry. It's not unit area. It is a square area. A is square area. Square area means, what does it mean? Square area means, what does it mean? That means length is equal to width. That's what the meaning. Square area means length to width. So therefore, all the dimensions in a particular chip is uh, uh, is uh, uh, is in the square square type man manners. That means rectangles that we normally use in your chip. So that's the reason why it is meaningful to say that uh, the square area related information only. Okay. So therefore, for a unit for a for a a uh, square area, whatever the capacitance we see, that capacitance is called square capacitance. It is a square capacitance. Here also the capacitance value does not depending upon the, uh, whatever the square area you consider, the capacitance value is the same. Like a uh, square, uh, the sheet resistance, right? So only the, it's, that is depending upon what is the medium between the two plates and what is the thickness of these two plates. That's it, nothing, nothing more than that. And one more thing is that what kind of uh, uh, SiO2 that we are using. Okay, therefore, what is the dependency of square CZ? As we know that square, sorry, square C is proportional to the top. Epsilon insulator, most preferably directly proportional. And square CC is proportional to that of inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. It does not depend upon the area of the uh, the square area of the material. Okay, as you know that if you take this much big square or this square, the big square or this picture, all these big squares having the same capacitance. Okay, so unless otherwise, all the three. Uh, all the three squares has got the same thickness. Okay, thickness same on the same same capacitance or something. Okay, now we call it as uh, we normally call it as what kind of capacitance this is. Uh, we would like to consider gate to channel capacitance. Gate to channel capacitance. Gate is one plate. Capacitance channel is one plate. So this is very important for us. So this is called the standard capacitance. This is called is called standard capacitance. 
so we would like to the, what is the whatever the capacitance that we see between the gate to channel that is most important for us to evaluate any other capacitance that means we want to calculate or we want to evaluate the capacitance of any layer with respect to the gate to channel capacitance that means uh, with respect to the gate to channel capacitance this much higher capacitance is there for this particular capacitor whatever the capacitor that is formed or with respect to gate to channel capacitance particular gate um, particular uh, capacitance that is formed there will be less than that one okay so therefore in terms of the gate to channel capacitance only we would like to express the capacitance seen in our seen our seen in our circuitry is it clear to all of you so that's what important for us now what is the axle abs, abs, absolute value for the gate to channel capacitance okay before going to the gate to channel capacitance what exactly meaning of this one as we know that according to this expression according to this expression what is the capacitance that is formed at different places okay so let us do that one and we'll come back to the square cgc what is exactly the square cgc value from that one okay so we take this uh, information uh, so this is what i need to copy copy here and then paste so these are the parameters that we have to know that in order to find out the capacitances for other layers okay so therefore so how did you calculate this uh, capacitance for this one what are the capacitance that we normally considered uh, in our course the gate to channel capacitance one thing that we are we would like to discuss and the diffusion to substrate and the polysilicon to substrate metal one to substrate metal two to substrate metal one to metal two metal to to polysilicon so these are the different capacitance that we normally observe okay so they put gate to channel capacitance so the, as we have seen here uh the inter gate to channel on the but a gate to channel is not there for example somewhere else here okay so for example here is a gate oxide uh, polysilicon and uh, uh, this is the source this is the drain for example so the for gate to channel so this is the one capacitance okay so therefore here the polysilicon is going in this way so this is the, everything is oxide the polysilicon is also going in this direction okay for example this is the polysilicon this is the polysilicon this is the polysilicon for example okay again the polysilicon is extended towards the side so therefore what is happening here it is an oxide it is an oxide so therefore the substrate is extended for for example something like this therefore there is a possibility of polysilicon to substrate capacitance the polysilicon to substrate capacitance. like this different different capacitance that we can see here okay so therefore we have considered 5 micron technology 2 micron technology 1.2 micron technology right so what is the gate to channel capacitance just we have to apply the formula epsilon not into epsilon divided by a into d okay so a is actually 5 micron what is the a here actually area area is nothing but length to width ratio therefore epsilon we know that okay and length to 5 micron into 5 micron because it is a uh, area means length to width okay so length is 5 micron with this some example 5 5 micron somewhere else okay depending upon what kind of area that we have considered for this one okay it's not unit area it's not a square something like this it will be something else so for that value uh, that that area is a length to width ratio it is not necessary that a square length to width ratio divided by thickness of the oxide for this particular technology it is a uh, hidden uh, information so based on these four the four five four parameters they have calculated that the gate to channel capacitance gate to channel capacitance is 4 into 10 to the power of minus 4 femtofarads per micrometer square they calculate this sir is it clear for a particular technology so similarly for a two micron technology this value becomes 8 For one point two, this is sixteen. This is eight. This is four. 
so that we have to remember there is no option for us okay uh, this values we should remember and uh, we have to do the calculations for the different layer capacitance formation okay something like this diffusion also having for 5 micron one this is 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.3 something these are the capacitance that we can see at this particular technology okay so calculating the capacitances calculating the absolute values of the capacitance it is a little bit difficult sometimes instead we consider the relative capacitances it is better to consider the relative capacitances what do we mean by a relative capacitance that means you take any layer for example you consider this is the polysilicon to substrate poly to substrate so this capacitance c polysilicon to substrate if you want to calculate this one what we need to say that when compared to the gate to channel when compared to the gate to channel of the mass transistor that is available in your chip how much this value is available how much this value is available okay that means in terms of gate to channel we need to mention this is called relative capacitance this is called a relative capacitance how do we calculate the relative capacitance of uh, any material with respect to the gate to channel means this is how we have to calculate so what is the specific value for that one what is the specific value okay relative value relative capacitance is find out by something like this a relative relative capacitance is nothing but specified value specified value divided by gate to channel value gate to channel value gate to channel value at that particular technology whatever the technology that you are intended for so for example you consider this one what is the gate to channel capacitance i would like to consider the gate to channel capacitance relative to gate to channel capacitance relative to gate to channel capacitance what do i do how, how do i calculate this one so what is this absolute value or specific value we found that that is a four okay so since this is also what is the gate to channel value itself is a gate to channel value right it is also a gate to channel value only so therefore this value becomes one so therefore relative to gate to channel capacitance that means the gate to channel is compared with its gate to channel capacitance itself that's the one for example a relative to diffusion to substrate capacitance diffusion to substrate capacitance as we can see the diffusion to substrate capacitance is one they have mentioned one so therefore the specific value is specified value is one what is its gate to channel what is its gate to channel it's a four what is the value now this value becomes 0 0.0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 so you please remember that these are square cgs okay these are square cgs therefore uh, please remember that when compared to the square cg value that we are considering okay what is the value that we are considering when con considering the square cg value this is the value we can find out so i will write one point here so the gate to channel capacitance sorry the diffusion to the diffusion to substrate capacitances substrate capacitances 0. 0. 0.25 times higher than square area of gate to channel capacitance that's what the meaning of this one channel capacitance so this is the most meaningful way that we are representing or calculating the capacitances so this is what relative capacitance this is what relative capacitance meaning is it clear all of you that's how we uh, we need to say that so that that relative capacitance values that they have put it in brackets 
for this particular technology okay for this particular these are the relative capacitances so if you observe this one at 2 micron technology what is the relative capacitance here now so 8 is the specific value 8 by 8 for example here 1.75 so as we can see that here is 1.75 divide by 8 this much because the gate to channel at this particular technology is a 2 micron technology 8 only right that is that, that is what i have de defined so therefore this value is 0.22 like this we can calculate all these things for example here we can calculate for example what is this value 0.33 is a specific value what is its gate to channel 16 so becomes 0.02 right so this is how we have to understand about the the relative capacitances observed in mass layers i hope you understand the concept is now let us estimate let us estimate okay by the by uh, i want to calculate uh, what is the exact values of the square cg okay I, as i mentioned that uh, i can say that 0.25 times higher than that of the square area of the gate to channel capacitance okay that means that i am calculating now let us calculate calculate absolute value of square cg square cg cg is anachu ledha ante cg anachu simply people will call it as cg so gate to channel actually people will call it as square cg also okay so what is its value then the square cg is nothing but we can write it something like this relative area is multiplied with the relative capacitance relative relative capacitance so what is this relative area what is i can say that area into capacitance nothing more than that okay area into capacitance that we consider in this way what is the relative area for this one uh, actually the length to width ratio ante kada manam maatladadi so length into width ratio and this is the capacitance value uh, no no i am extremely sorry this is not like this uh, the square cg actually we are writing as square area square area is multiplied with gate to channel capacitance gate to specific gate to channel capacitance specific or specified gate to channel capacitance gate to channel capacitance okay so what is the square area normally we consider let us consider for my five for Five micron technology for five micron technology. What is its area? So since uh, five micron technology stands for length microns, if the length is equal five microns, width is also five micron for a square area, right? This is what we can calculate. And what is the specified value? We have seen the specified value is four, right? This value is four. So therefore, the four is multiplied with. 10 to the power of minus 4 femtofarads picofarads per micrometer square if you calculate this one this becomes this becomes 0.01 nanoseconds sorry uh, uh, nanofarads picofarads it becomes a picofarads 0.04 picofarads picofarads therefore you can say that one square cg what is the exact value of the one square cg means 0.1 picofarads at 5 micron technology at 5 micron technology similarly it is possible to find out the square cg at 2 micron technology and out the we have to calculate similarly we want to calculate the absolute value of the square cc at 1.2 micron technology so you please consider and please uh, take it as homework and find out what is its values right this is called uh, 
finding the absolute value of square CZ at a particular technology. Okay, so therefore, if I say that, uh, for example, uh, related to uh, what is the absolute value of this one? What is the absolute value? I have to place in terms of the square CZ, I have to replace this one with the help of 0.1 femtoparents. So then I will get it that one. Okay, so therefore now let us calculate, calculate the capacitance seen in the given piece of layout, in the given layout or layer, for example, layout or layer, whatever it may be. For example, something like this, I have a simple layer is available here. Assume that this is the one layer under this one oxide is there under this one substrate is, substrate is there. Okay, so that means that uh, this is a watch if we consider the three dimensional view of this one something like this. So it is actually something like this under this one, there is also a possibility of uh, under this, there is a uh, an oxide is there. Sorry, an oxide is there. Under this one, there is an oxide is there. Under this, we have a another uh, plate is also available. That plate is actually substrate. Okay, are you getting this one point? So this point is actually the top plate I am showing here. So top plate I am showing here. So therefore, this may be a metal. For example, let us consider it is a metal. So metal to substrate. Let us consider substrate so its length is for example uh, 20 lambda let us consider its width is 3 lambda let us consider 3 lambda now what is the capacitance what is the metal to substrate capacitance how much that we can observe at uh, 5 micron technology at 5 micron technology that's what the question the question is we have a uh, a piece of uh, uh, layer. I want to calculate if there is a possibility of the substrate capacitance. Uh, what is that value? So, in order to calculate this one, what we have to do is that I want to calculate very simple method is I first of all I want to calculate relative to area we need to calculate. This value is multiplied with relative to capacitance relative capacitance. So this is what the two parameters that we have to calculate. A relative area is multiplied with relative capacitance. What do you mean by relative area? So what is the area of this one actually? The given area is 20 lambda into 3 lambda. And the length into width is nothing but uh, uh, the specific area, specific area. So with relative to particular area, what is the relative area means uh, with respect to the gate to channel area, with respect to gate to channel area. So what is the gate to channel area? Usual practice is two lambda by two lambda. Two lambda by two lambda. Length of the channel is minimum two lambda. We have to maintain minimum uh, with this two, two lambda. We have to maintain about the channel. So this is all about a relative area. This is all about relative area. So now, so what is the relative capacitance here? As we know that from the table. So metal one, so normally considered metal one, for example, a metal one, we consider metal one. So for the metal one to substrate, what is the metal one to substrate? This is the one at five micron technology, relative area is 0 0.075, 0 0.075. Squared stages, right? So we can substitute there. So 0. Point, what is the value? 0. 0.075. 0. 0.075 square CG. Square CG. Is it right? Now, if you do this one, what is this value? Can anybody help me in this one? What is this value? Lambdas, all the lambdas will get cancelled. 10, 10 by 30, 30 by 15. I think so, 15, huh? 
So two tenths are cancelled. Uh, yes, uh, two fives. I don't pay him. Yes, fifteen into zero point zero seven five square cg. So therefore, what did, what does it mean? When compared to the square cg, the metal one to substrate capacitance is this much value higher. That's what it says. That. Uh, what is this value? It is there in our textbook. So this value is actually one point one two five square cc. One point one two five. This is a CMS is one point one two five square cc. Can you guess what is the absolute value? What is it, what is its absolute value? So absolute value since uh, just replace the square cc at five micron technology that is zero point zero one picofarads. Therefore, its absolute value, absolute value, is of CMS is one point one two five is multiplied with zero point zero one picofarads. Picofarads. Okay, so you you multiply this one, you'll get some value there. Is it clear to all of you? So that is how we have to calculate uh, <clears throat> the capacitance of any layer. So in fact, uh, metal instead of metal one polysilicon, you consider instead of polysilicon, you can take another one, maybe diffusion you can consider. So the, the procedure is the same. Let us take a typical uh, diagram, typical layout, then we can calculate that one. Therefore, example number two. Let us take another typical example. Okay, so so this is what we'll take. I'll write. Oh. Um, a piece of layout I want to show you. Want to calculate the capacitance offered by this particular piece of layout. Okay, you observe this is the piece of layout they have given. It is asked that what is the capacitance of, or what is the capacitance is, uh, is established within this particular uh, structure. See, observe here. What is this metal? What is this material? Is what is this material from zero from this this point to this point? So because of this hash lines, you can see the vertical lines. This is the metal one. Please remember, this is the metal one. So metal one is extended up to this uh, 104. 104, they have mentioned. So therefore, this is the polysilicon. As I mentioned that, uh, as, as it is mentioned that, this is the polysilicon. This is the polysilicon. So this is the diffusion line. So how many materials are there here? How many materials are there here? First one is metal one. Metal one is available. Next one is polysilicon is available. Polysilicon is available. The third one is diffusion available. Diffusion. Of course, it is very necessary to find out that the transistor cha channel is also available. So channel is there available. Channel is there, gate to channel. Okay, gate to channel area is also there gate to channel these are the different uh, things that we observe from this layout okay so if you consider the metal one it is extended from 0 to 104 okay so but it is actually the overlap region you observe this one this is the overlap region what is the overlapping here actually it is the it is the polysilicon is overlapped with metal uh, are you agree with me metal one. So that's what we can observe. So for the time being, I don't want to consider this overlap region for the metal. I want to use it for other purpose. Okay. So the core point is that I'm, ex I'm extremely absurd that there is a absolute metal is available from uh, the 100 lambda time, 100 lambda units. 
right first of all i want to calculate the capacitance of the metal one first and then i went calculate the because i know that uh, the length and width of the metal one okay so therefore absolutely i can find out so i know the the dimensions of the polysilicon to metal one and polysilicon polysilicon also from here to here you can observe there is a one one lambda is there here to here one lambda is there from here to here uh, two lambda is there from here to here two lambda is there that means the dimensions of the polysilicon is also available okay but you observe the dimensions of the dimensions of the metal two poly is available metal one is available polysilicon is available but you didn't find uh, the dimensions of the diffusion from ekkadu nunchi ekkadiki entundi ekkadu nunchi ekkadiki entundi ani devaledu question lo isthe calculate chese vanni so i don't want to consider anything about the diffusion okay now gate two channel i know very well because uh, minimum 2 lambda by 2 lambda polysilicon telusundi diffusion anedi all kuda 2 lambda by 2 lambda untundi therefore minimum of 2 lambda by 2 lambda is expected therefore i know the gate two channel capacitance so therefore in this particular overall uh, thing i don't want to consider the diffusion okay now so let us go for metal thing metal consider that so therefore now what is the total capacitance let me call this the total capacitance total capacitance is nothing but metal to substrate metal one to substrate connection capacitance plus polysilicon to substrate capacitance plus gate to channel capacitance gate to channel capacitance these are the three capacitances that we observe in the overall layout so as we know that what is the how do we calculate the uh, cms how do we calculate so as we know that relative area relative area is multiplied with relative relative capacitance so assume that 5 micron technology let us consider okay so this is applicable for all the things okay this is applicable for all the uh, layers all the layers right so let us write this one so please observe that what is the relative area for this one so 100 lambda divided by 3 lambda okay please remember that it is uh, for metal i am writing here 100 lambda into 3 lambda divided by what is the available gate to channel what is the available gate to channel area so the gate to channel area this is the one only so this is the one only so that is 2 lambda by 2 lambda that is 2 lambda by 2 lambda right it is multiplied with what is the relative uh, capacitance previously we have seen 0.075 square cg and the manam chadivam indaka okay fine plus now what is the relative area for this uh, polysilicon polysilicon is available from here to here for example please remember carefully so polysilicon is available from here to here but actually from so, sorry it is available from here to here ante kada so what i am doing here in this one i don't want to include uh, gate to channel area because i want to calculate it to the gate to channel uh, related capacitance therefore i don't want to include that one okay so that means that it is not uniform structure it is a square area and this is something like this and i don't want to use this one okay the middle of this one i don't want to use therefore what is this particular area now it becomes it is actually one and uh, the chakra manak one lambda this is one lambda this is two lambda okay this is actually four lambda four lambda so what is the thickness here two lambda what is the thickness here two lambda what is the thickness here sorry width is here is two lambda that means that please be reveal doesn't carefully so that means 3 lambda into 2 lambda is the dimensions for this area this thing okay plus 4 lambda into 4 lambda for this particular area so what is the relative of this one now this is 2 lambda by 2 lambda okay this is also 2 lambda by 2 lambda 2 lambda by 2 lambda are you agree with me what is this relative area of this one what is the relative area of this uh, uh, polysilicon to substrate okay is multiplied with is multiplied with what is the polysilicon to substrate uh, 
a relative capacitance, as we can see here, polysilicon two substrate, but this is the one. 0.4, sorry, sorry, I'm extremely sorry, 0.1, relative capacitance is causing it, therefore it is 0.1. So we have to calculate 0.1 square CG plus, uh, uh, what is the gate to channel means? What is the relative areas? Square CG only, square CG only, gate to channel. Because the relative area into relative capacitance is one into one. Are you getting this point? So this value is actually uh, one lambda into, sorry, two lambda into two lambda divided by two lambda into two lambda is multiplied with one square CG. So this is what the gate to channel related information. So if you calculate all these things, uh, you will find uh, what is this value. Okay, that's it. Uh, therefore, total capacitance is nothing but man, you have to observe all these things and uh, calculate this one. It becomes uh, 7.20 square CG. So please try to evaluate this one. This is 7.20 square CG. Okay. So therefore, relatively, this total capacitance is 7.20 square cc. What does it mean? So whatever the capacitance that we can see within this particular layout is 7.20 times higher than that of the gate to channel capacitance, relatively. So therefore, in terms of relative manner, we need to mention. So if you say that, what is the absolute value? Absolute total capacitance, absolute value, and demo market blue. So the CST is nothing but total capacitance is nothing but 7.20 is multiplied with 0 0.01 picofarads. So therefore, this is what uh, we have to calculate and tell me what is its CT value. Okay. So this is all about the area capacitance. Uh, in fact, we can, if you want to calculate the capacitance of any piece of uh, layout, uh, we can easily find out uh, from this mechanism. Okay. So therefore, with the help of this. Uh, uh, concepts by multiplying this uh, capacitance value and resistance value, we can calculate the delay or we can estimate the delay of the any circuit. Okay, so the, for the if you want to calculate the if you want to estimate the delay of any circuit, we should calculate the capacitance, we should calculate the resistance of that particular piece of layout. So then only it is possible to calculate the delay of the circuit. So that we will see in the next class. We stop here today. If you have any doubt, please let us know. Otherwise, we can stop here. Okay, thank you.